Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a huge declutter video. So basically, when you're a perfume collector, it sort of gets to a point where I'm not really wearing all these perfumes and I just don't want them anymore. I thought it'd be better to, you know, cut ties with a few, give them a better home. So here we go. This is gonna be a huge, huge declutter. So yeah, make sure to get a little drink and we're gonna just jump right in. The first fragrance that I'm gonna be decluttering is called Platinum 22 by Floris London. This is a new launch. Personally, I'm not too into iris fragrances, especially when they have a lot of orris, which is the root of the iris flower. Um, so orris root has a really carroty-like smell, and I really did get like kind of spicy carrots from this fragrance. Oh, orris with the scent of oats. There's an oatmeal note or an oat note to this. That's really interesting. Um, so yeah, violet leaves, clary sage, black tea, black pepper, cedar wood, and orris. Um, personally, I found this to be a very like fresh, spicy iris fragrance. Um, it's definitely an aromatic scent as well. It's um, really like tickles the nose buds. Um, personally, I just didn't love this on myself. Everything about the longevity, the performance, the quality of this fragrance was there. It just wasn't really you know, I, I just didn't really reach for it. So I'm gonna find it a much better home. So that's the first one is Floris Platinum 22. Moving along, we have a fragrance that I got from The Harmonist. This one is called Guiding Water. This is a watermelon fragrance and I think I picked it up because I saw that it had watermelon in it and it just really intrigued me. I love watermelon. I just, I, I'm such a sucker for watermelon. And I have really high expectations of this one, but it has a really woody, it's a very woody fragrance. It's The watermelon is freshens it a little bit, but it's mostly a woody scent. It's very earthy, very grounded. Also the sprayers, the bottles, everything about this, same as the other one. The quality is there, the packaging is there, everything is there. It's just not my type of scent. And that's kind of how it is at the end of the day. This, oh my God. I just ate that. And this is one of the fragrances that I picked up very early into my fragrance collection before I really knew my type per se, like before I knew what kind of fragrances I liked. So I'm going to be passing it along. So that was Guiding Water by The Harmonist. Turkey by Tiziana Terenzi. Now this one I'm very sad to be getting rid of because I love this scent. The only thing is that I was sent a faulty cap. Um, this is from Max Aroma and nothing against Max Aroma, but I just, I don't... I don't like the, that the cap doesn't stay on the way it properly should. It just kind of bothers me and I feel like I can't display it the same. I don't know. I just haven't reached for it as much, but this is beautiful, beautiful fragrance. It's fruity, it's it's fresh. I fell in love with it at first smell. I remember I smelled it back when I was in Florida. Try not to eat this one. Do I wanna keep it? No, I shouldn't, I hardly ever. I don't really wear it. If you know um, Herba Pura by Zerzhov, it's kind of a similar vibe. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Oh, I could be easily swayed into keeping this one, but I think I should get rid of it just because I don't, just because I'm trying to be very, very picky. The next fragrance is Indian Jasmine. This is a perfume oil by Nest. These retail for like $130, like they're really expensive. I'm gonna be getting rid of this one because I f just don't love Jasmine. This is a, it's just like a jasmine fragrance with notes of red berries. Personally, this smells like Burberry Her in the dry down to me, but the opening has this almost fecal jasmine note. When it comes to jasmine fragrances, sometimes I get like a, a fecal note in the jasmine. With Wilhelm Don't Tell Jasmine, that was a scent that I really smelled a fecal note in. But then when I read all of the reviews on Fragrantica, it was like beautiful, fresh jasmine. And same thing with this one. Everyone thinks it's like a beautiful fresh jasmine. For some reason, I get this strange fecal note and it just smells so off to me. So this is Indian Jasmine by Nest. The next one I'll be giving away is Polo Earth by Ralph Lauren. This is a Neroli scent. It's fresh, it's herbescent, it's beautiful. It just doesn't really tickle my fancy. I don't think it's bad, but it's actually one of my coworkers' favorite scents. And I think it's a great launch. It's just not, I just don't really reach for it much. I don't always wanna smell like Neroli, so. I'm gonna be passing this one along. My Way Floral. Um, this one, I honestly, I could keep this one. I do like My Way. This is one of those fragrances that I love. I think it's so pretty. I just don't really reach for it much. So I was thinking that I should give it away because because I don't use it enough, you know? I find that someone might use it a little more than I do. So maybe I'll get rid of it. But yeah, it's that My Way DNA that has this like bubblegum, tuberose, 
a pretty fun young fragrance and it lasts a really long time too but I'm going to be getting it away. Next one we have is from Abel. This one is called Cyan Nori. This is another one of those fragrances where I'm getting rid of this because I have a specific scent association with this. For some reason when I smell this, I smell ham. I don't, I don't know why. This is the most popular fragrance from this brand and this has a seaweed note. So the Nori is the seaweed and I don't know why, but to me it smells like ham in the opening. I think someone else will really like this. Unfortunately, it's just didn't really work out for me. Um, yeah, I think it's a really pretty, pretty scent. Okay, thank you, Abel. It will be beautiful for someone else. So I have another one from Abel. This is Golden Neroli. There's nothing wrong with it at all. I don't even dislike this. I just, I just got it and I just like, it just kind of fell through the cracks for me. To no one's surprise, I'm going to be decluttering I Am Trash by Etalib d'Orange. This is a apple scent with, um, it's a woody apple scent. It's made of things that are generally composted. So think apple cores, sandalwood, that kind of thing. Like things that are generally found in the compost or tossed out. Concept of like recycled materials. But I get such a strong pepper note, even just putting the atomizer to my nose right now, it smells really strongly of compost. The opening is a stunning, fresh, somewhat sweet, fruity apple. The opening is scrumptious and I wish the opening could stay the entire time that I wear this fragrance. But the dry down on me is just straight pepper, straight compost. And I love this. I love the bottle. I love everything about it. I think it's the coolest concept, but I have to let it go because on my skin, it's just not the beautiful harmony that I wished it was. Next one we have is Sequoia by Abbott. This is smoky incense, cedarwood, and sandalwood. Same thing about this. It's um, pretty much a full bottle. I think Abbott is a cool company. I love their, I love their brand. They do like natural perfumes. Um, kind of named after different areas around the states and kind of like the smell of those outdoorsy areas They do a lot for the environment, which I think is cool And I'm also from California. So sequoia trees are just like my childhood. I just don't really love woody notes on myself um, I'm starting to like sandalwood a little bit more. I never disliked it, but I think that scents that are really woody Yeah This is a very woody scent. You have to like the smell of woods. It really it smells like bark like uh, something you would come across in the outdoors. And I love it for that. I think it's a great smell, but I'd like it in a candle, maybe. I wouldn't really put it on myself. Very woody, cool, but warm, a little spicy. I do get that incense. It's a really, really interesting. I think it's a really cool scent. So Sequoia by Abbott, very cool scent. Definitely recommend checking it out. I will be passing this one along. Next, we have both of my fragrances from Dead Cool. I just think I sort of gave in to TikTok hype on this. First one is Red Dakota. It's citrus, but it's a little lackluster for me. Like, I feel like this fragrance is missing something. It smells like you were making lemonade, but you forgot to add sugar. Or no, not lemonade, orange aid. Like, it smells like, yeah, it smells like you squeezed a bunch of lemons and then dropped an orange into it, and then you didn't sweeten it at all. There's just not really a time where I really want to wear this on my own. So yeah, I'm going to be passing this one along. The next fragrance is Dead Cool Taunt. This is a vanilla bergamot amber fragrance. Um, I only like, I just don't have a great scent association with it. Oh, it smells really good. This is a great, great vanilla fragrance. Um, this is by a landslide, my favorite fragrance from Dead Cool. I just unfortunately wore this during a part of my life that I just wasn't having that great of a time. And now I don't really want to smell it anymore. So I feel like I've just kind of graduated past the scent. Um, and it's, again, it's nothing to do. This is all completely personal to me and it's just my scent association with this experience. Um, but yeah, the scent is beautiful. I recommend it still very highly. And yeah, I'm just gonna be passing it along to the next person. This is Tuberosa by Nisha Ney. This is a really green tuberose scent. It's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Ugh, I hardly want to open this. I don't reach for it as much as this fragrance deserves to be reached for. This fragrance deserves to be the main character and I'm keeping it as a side character. So I'm gonna be passing it along. Oh my God, my leg is going completely numb. Next up, we have Aqua de Parma Fico de Amalfi. This was a gift to me over the summer from Aqua de Parma. I was so excited because this is, I think that this is their most popular scent. For some reason, I go through this like all the time where I'm like, okay, this scent has a fig in it. I don't usually like fig, but maybe I'll like it. And then I don't. No matter how much I try to like fig, 
Okay. See, like, Fig has this weird kind of, like, nutty, outdoorsy, everything about the Aqua de Parma, fresh, citrusy accord in this. It is gorgeous. It's just that Fig note that I can't get by with. And now that I'm giving it a second smell, I'm, re I'm really liking it. I, it's it's clean. It, this, the fig is like slightly soapy. It's really lovely. It's I have to get rid of it because I literally don't wear it, but it's so nice. I haven't touched this in so long and I just don't generally love fig, so I feel like I should get rid of it. But it, it's really nice. If you like fig, smell it 100%. Fig is really trendy on TikTok. I've just never really gotten down with fig. Don't know why, just haven't. The next one I'm gonna be giving away is Givenchy Irresistible. It kind of matches my outfit. At work, people always buy this as a gift for people. Guys would come in and buy this for their girlfriend. A lot of people came in and would buy it for their mother. Um, I think it's just like a very universally appealing scent. It has this like, like tart opening, kind of like sour candy almost. Like this scent makes my mouth water. Really hard to declutter perfumes because whenever I go and smell these, I love them all. Really, I love this. I just don't really reach for it enough to justify keeping it in my collection. I also get a little bit of a juicy pear note in this, and I don't know if there is one or not. I don't think there is. But yeah, it's beautiful, and I think that it's going to be really beautiful for someone else. So unfortunately, I have to give her away. Replica, when the rain stops. I don't think this is a surprise to anyone. <laughs> so excited to own my first bottle from Maison Margiela. This one is a petrichor, earthy, like patchouli type of vibe. And that's just not my vibe. That's like kind of the opposite of my vibe. I find this to be very masculine. It's just not something that I'm ever gonna really wanna reach for. And I think it's such a beautiful bottle and I don't wanna be wasting it. We have BDK Velvet Tonka. This is absolutely breaking my heart. You're about to get a really hot take from me. I haven't really liked any fragrances from BDK Parfums. I just haven't. This has gotta be one of the most hyped brands on perfume YouTube, and I've just never liked anything from them. I've tried Passoir. This one, Velvet Tonka, I thought that I would love it. The notes of this are stunning. The bottle is stunning. This fragrance has a really cherry-like opening. Maybe I associate the scent of tobacco with cherry because they're usually like together, or almond with cherry. I don't know if this is actually in the fragrance, but I get a lot of heliotrope in the dry down, and so it just goes very, very powdery on me and almost like mothball-like on me. And again, I think that's my skin chemistry. I don't think anyone else has gotten this like retirement home vibe um, from this. I've never heard from anyone else, literally just me. But yeah, again, didn't really work out for me. I was really sad about this, but it's basically full. So I think that somebody will love it. Hey, then we are giving away Good Fortune by Victor and Rolf, which I'm actually really sad about this one because I don't know if you guys remember me posting when I got this, but basically I had, I went through a really hard breakup over the summer. I came home and I got this beautiful PR package for this perfume. I'm a spiritual person of the idea that, you know, you can choose your own fortune. Everything about this perfume, the timing, it really seemed like the stars truly aligned and I was about to get something that was gonna be like my new signature scent. So my expectations were so high and I smelled this and I really did like it a lot. I just don't really wear it. It's supposed to be like a velvety um, jasmine in this. It almost smells like butter, like, like buttered popcorn or something, like butter. The opening is a gentian fennel co-distillate. So they took um, gentian flower root, I think, with fennel, distilled them together. So it's not actually gentian and fennel. It's like a note that is completely unique. It doesn't smell like gentian or fennel. So it's unique to this fragrance. You won't smell it anywhere else. And it has this like maybe a little bit bitter opening. It's just not me. So I'm gonna have to be getting rid of it. I really wanted to love this. I just don't really reach for it enough to keep it around. So I'm gonna have to pass it along. Um, last up, we have a Strawberry Moon by Sniff. Again, this is another one. There's nothing wrong with it. I just, I got it and I don't think I even really took it out of its box. I actually really liked it, but it kept selling out. So I never wanted to make videos on it. Maybe I should keep this one because I actually kind of like it. I just never got around to making a full video on it because it was always sold out. So it just felt pointless to me to like make a full video on it. And because of that, I just never wore it. If it's sold out, I can't talk about it. And if I can't talk about it, I might as well wear other things that I can talk about. Again, the logic there is not really logicking. And I think it's really pretty and I think someone will love it. It kept selling out for a reason, so. Okay, so that was mostly everything, but I do have another little box of perfumes that I tucked away a little while ago. And they're basically just all my dupes. And I don't know if I wanna get rid of these or not, but I put away all my Okja dupes because I don't really love this company. 
I kind of had a bad experience with them. I loved watching videos on the dupes because everyone loves saving money. I just, just don't really love this brand. So I kind of want to get rid of their stuff. And same thing about these. I'll be getting rid of these. I don't know if they're for resale or for trash, but I'll figure out what I'm doing with these. If you know, you know, getting rid of them. All right, so that concludes the entire video. Those are all the fragrances I'm decluttering. Let me know what fragrances you have decluttered lately. Also, let me know what videos you'd like to see in the future. I will hopefully make a new video next week. I try to post every Saturday, so we'll see if I can keep that up. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate the support, and I hope you all have a great day. Please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.